I'm live at the Axtel Studios. We're going to get a little bit of a look around, a little bit of an in-person tour from Steve. Here we go. Sophisticated. She's just mocked up right now, but she'll have a breathing wind. Yeah. <laughs> it's much bigger and, than I expected. This yeah. is so cool, man. And uh, her eyebrows will be animated as well. <laughs> Her mouth, of course, moves. Her head three-way, so it, it uh, tilts um, up, down, and uh, left, right. Of course, the neck, and mouth, and then uh, this is. She doesn't have a body yet, but she'll have tiny little oh, feet, that, that'll do little shoes under. that'll wobble oh, up and down. Cool. And oh, does that? Does this where the knee is here then? Or no, this is actually her so feet. So she got really she little, tiny little, comically legs. small yeah. feet. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's just, so just cool. Like this while she talks. It's this one, prize position. my prize possession, my eight-year-old grandson made that. Oh, really? Kingston made this. Oh, my God. Yeah. He sculpted it. We cast it together. He told me what he wanted to paint it. He added these tusks. These are hot glue. And he made the eight years old. That's amazing. And that, to me, is just like, yeah. wow. But his art is like, that's what These are his eyebrows right here. Oh, that's so cool. Like neck, and this is a filler that just fits it into the nose of register. <laughs> his his uh, wacky oh, face yeah, that makes sense. into that. And then so that it holds it still for his mouth movement. <laughs> <laughs> Like to see the birth of a puppet? Sure, we get to see a puppet birth. How long does that have to sit in there? These were about an hour, two oh, minutes. Okay. We get the chicken show live today. So I'm puppeteering, so I'll use a three axis joystick and maybe four. So um, when you're doing that too, is the bird itself actually moving or you just know right. what the controls yeah. are? Yeah. Okay, it is. Yeah, I have to see it moving. So you can see it turning left, right. So you're watching it do everything, <coughs> then you can come here and fine tune it. Right, right. And I'm really trying to breathe as much life into those as possible so that they're, right. not, that's why they're laughing at the end and, and a lot of the... Um, and cackling the, and laughing. <laughs> yeah. Was that, are those all you as the chick, as the sound suit? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing <laughs> all the voices. So this is like a very simple system we have. This okay. is a back end three light. So it's a two servo. So you could buy any puppet and th this customer has a dragon and then you can just fit fit the puppet on. So That's if you have, just didn't do it. Yeah, if you have puppet several puppets, puppets so. you can yeah. you can swap them out. This one is designed, as Steve said, for a, a back entry, you know, where the hand is not coming through the, the bottom, but through the back, so the body kind of hangs underneath it. Thank you so much, Steve, for inviting me to your studio. I had a blast being there and meeting you in person. Everyone, be sure to check out Axtel.com for all of your puppetry needs, whether you're a beginner needing a starting puppet or a seasoned performer performing for thousands of people. Axtel has you covered. Well, that's it for today, guys. We'll see you next time.